Hi Leo, this is your December 6th through December 12th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances, and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe, and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week we have the King of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Swords, we also have uh, the Hangman, and then we have the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups, and we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you could also be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I think the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck is you, Leo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And um, you are either dealing with one person who is um, represented here by the King of Pentacles, the first card on the left. This is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or this person is very grounded, they're good with their finances. Or you could be dealing with two different people. This King of Pentacles could be a, a person number one, and a person number two could be an air sign, represented here by the Knight of Swords. Um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this person is, is uh, really determined to um, fight for your full and undivided attention. Speaking of fighting, we have the Five of Wands right next to uh, the King of Pentacles, right? And that's what the uh, Knight of Swords is actually clarifying. The Five of, of Wands is a card of a fight, or this is a card of a disagreement or a competition. So if you are dealing with two different people, then uh, I don't really know if they are aware of each other's existence. They could be, but if they're not, then um, you know both of them really are trying to uh, establish something serious with you. And uh, I think that's what you have on your mind as well. You are looking for a committed relationship. In the outcome, we have the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups. The Hierophant is either a Taurus you're dealing with, but if we want to stay general, then the Hierophant is uh, about something traditional, like a committed relationship or even marriage. So, um, I've already shared some good, the good news with you is that you either have one person or two people in your life this week, but the uh, not so good news, I guess, is that there will not be a resolution this week. You are not even, you're not going to know which person to go with, or um, you will still be deciding whether this person is uh, marriage material or committed relationship material. Because in the outcome, we also have the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. The Four of Pentacles is you sort of holding back. You're still thinking about the decision or the right person to go with. And uh, the Seven of Cups, this is a card of a confusion or this is a card of a multiple choice. Right? And uh, in the main spread, we also have the Hangman, and the Hangman is the last card that came out, so the situation is not going to move uh, forward by the end of this week. You are still going to be in uh, sort of a limbo. You will still be figuring out which person to go with, or if you're dealing with one person, if this person is the real deal, if this person is, uh, like I said, marriage or a committed relationship material. But um, um, I really like the fact that uh, the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, it actually came out on the bottom of the deck, that is you, Leo, so um, you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots and you're the one making the decisions here, right? It's just a matter of figuring out who is it going to be, <laughs> Leo. Right, so it's not a bad spread. It's not a bad spread. You have somebody in your life, and it does appear that uh, this person or these people are willing to fight for your love. Perhaps you're just enjoying the show, right? You just you're not giving them an answer right away. You just want to see if their words or their word will match their action, and uh, it's a smart strategy. Alright, so this is to be continued at some point in the future and uh, during this week you will be observing this person or these people who are trying to get into your life. 
Leo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. I think the Queen of Wands in the spread is you, Leo, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, you and uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend and your significant other are trying to make a decision about something. And uh, that something is represented by the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune could be a trip that the two of you are wanting to go, but uh, you have your doubts because of what's going on in the world, perhaps. The Wheel of Fortune could be a decision about starting some kind of a cycle. Um, they could be thinking about proposing to you because the 601s is a card of a proposal, right? So somebody is thinking about it with the Two of Pentacles, they're trying to make a decision. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune could also be about purchasing a vehicle, right? And uh, you're thinking about which one of the vehicles to uh, buy. Um, but I think eventually there will be a decision with the 601s, right? And I don't really see any conflicting energies. It's just that the two of you are having uh, an adult conversation about something, right? And uh, both of you are feeling that... Uh, uh, the way you want things done or the way you want to purchase something is right and I think uh, one of you will eventually win but I think it'll be in a very constructed adult way okay the Wheel of Fortune is like I said either a trip or a vehicle or a cycle so whatever it is you're making a decision about uh, there will be a decision and uh, it's going to be done in a very um, simple but at the same time, a grown-up matter. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Queen of Swords, we have the Six of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So the Queen of Swords is either an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with, or you are embracing the energy of the Queen of Swords this week when it comes to this particular X. So uh, the Six of Cups that came out next is a card of somebody coming back from the past, but unfortunately for this person, you are telling them no. We have the Two of Swords right there. In this spread, I think the Two of Swords is all about you being closed off. You're saying no. And the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, this is the rejection card. So yeah, the Queen of Swords, if you are the one embracing it, this um, character usually is somebody who's uh, seen it all, who's heard it all, who can smell bullshit from a mile away. And uh, your intuition is probably telling you that this person is a bunch of BS. <laughs> even if they tell you that it's going to be different this time around if uh, they tell you that they have changed I don't think you're believing them you're embracing your inner queen of swords and uh, you're sending this person back to the past where they belong let's talk about your work your business and your finances Leo this week we have the knight of cups we have the lovers we have uh, the emperor and then we have uh, the world clarified by the ace of wands you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces you could be dealing with a gemini or an aries so it's going to be a very important week for you leo we've got three major arcana cards and one of them is in the outcome um, but uh, it's going to be a very pleasant week, to be honest with you. So we have this uh, offer represented by the Knight of Cups coming in. And uh, somebody sees you as uh, someone they really want to either work with or really want to start a business with, right? Because the Knight of Cups, this offer represents somebody who's uh, a bit emotional about this offer. Or the way they will present this offer will be on to touch your emotional side. And then we have the lovers. The lovers is either a Gemini you're dealing with or the lovers represents a choice. So you will have a choice to start this, to um, answer the call, so to speak, or not. Perhaps you are already employed and you'll have to make a choice do you, if uh, you want to leave your existing job and start this new job. Right, or whether to start this business adventure with this person or not. Then we have the Emperor. 
the Emperor is either an Aries you're dealing with or the Emperor is a boss figure so this person uh, making you an offer could be um, like a, a manager at some company or a C-level executive uh, basically a, like I said a figure of authority somebody who is serious and uh, you'll know if this person is making you this offer then they're serious they really want you on board um, and then we have uh, the world clarified by the ace of ones and those two cards are actually the outcome um, I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those two cards came out so it kinda looks like you will be accepting the offer because the world is a card of an ending but for me personally the world is the happy end card so one chapter of your life uh, will be coming to an end and the new chapter will be beginning um, so if you are currently employed you will give them a two week notice or you'll just uh, leave them and start a new chapter of your life with this new company or with this a new business partner because uh, the world is clarified by the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a very passionate new beginning. So um, yeah, you will be really passionate about this new job or about this new business adventure, about this new project, whatever it is. It will be um, something you really want to uh, invest your time and effort into. Another way to interpret this spread is uh, it could be a promotion or it could be um, a bonus coming towards you. In that case, the Knight of Cups is that promotion, is that bonus coming towards you. But whatever it is that's happening in your life this week, like I said, it's going to be very serious. Three major Icona cards here are for a reason, but I do see you being really happy with the outcome. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Leo. We have uh, the Devil clarified by Judgment, we have Temperance, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So what you're, what you're not expecting to happen is uh, somebody to come back from the past and um, offer you closure, or offer you a reconciliation, or offer you a new job. Whatever it is, they want to uh, set the record straight or they want you back. Um, yep, that's what I see here. So, um, the devil clarified by judgment right there, the first two cards on the left. Judgment is somebody coming back from the past and the devil is either a Capricorn you're dealing with or the devil represents um, a temptation or what I'm feeling is they just can't let you go. If this is a love offer, then they just can't stop thinking about you, they can't forget you, whatever they tried, nothing worked. Or, if this is about work, business and finances, then they realize that uh, you were the best at what you did and without you it's just all going to shit. <laughs> and they realize that uh, they need to get you back. And. Uh, then temperance is all about burying the hatchet, it's all about healing the wounds, it's all about reconciling, it's all about uh, getting back together or re-establishing a connection. And uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a brand new beginning or it could be a very straightforward and direct conversation or communication. They'll just tell you the truth, that uh, they need you back, right? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck. The Knight of Pentacles is either an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or this is uh, uh, their offer to get you back. If this is about love, then this person thought it through and they um, want something like a committed relationship with you. They'll offer you... Um, basically they realize that the only way to get you back is to offer you something serious and something grounded if this is about work business and finances it's a good chunk of change coming towards you alright so whatever it is um, I do see somebody coming back from the past because they need you they need you back for whatever reason and uh, I think it will be up to you what you want to do here Leo but they really really need you all right so that's what i got for you for this week hopefully it resonates and uh, other than that have a great week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period i hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other thank you for watching sharing and subscribing